Hello, and welcome to another installment of a very too old Christmas. Can't remember what day we're up to. Can't remember what number we're going to be looking at today. So let's skip the bullshit and get right into it. So today's beer is a bottle of the Santastique, which is uh, described as a Belgian wit ale. Wake up. I know it's a boring beer style, but I'm sure they've done a good job. Yeah. I don't think any beer style makes me drier than a Belgian wit ale. No offence intended to those who enjoy wit beers, they're just, for me, about as exciting as watching the fucking kooks play in Southport. I think you see where I'm coming from. Yeah, wit beers, yeah, just... I know it's supposed to be all festive and, like, winter cheer and... But... I'm going to be Scrooge today. I don't have high expectations for this beer. But that just means, if I enjoy it, I'm going to enjoy it a heck of a lot more than I thought I would. So, swings and roundabouts. But yeah, this is one of those beers that I've seen the artwork for loads of times. But of course, with it being a wit beer, I've never wanted to gravitate towards it. So this is clocking in at 4.7% ABV as well. It, even the ABV annoys me. 4.7% wit beer. It's like... Gandhi's slipper was moister than that. Anyway, stop talking about moist and dry. That's just very strange. Uh, I'm a family-friendly beer tuber, so I need to stop that. Uh, I'm stood up because I'm too lazy to move the table, or literally a chest of drawers that I'm resting my calendar on, uh, so I can sit down. And uh, yeah, still no background, but I don't. I think that's just a lost cause. Yeah, just, I'm not annoyed. Don't worry. I'm intrigued to try this beer, of course. Um, so yeah, let's let's see what this beer is all about. We think Christmas is a fantastic time of year, and what better way than to celebrate with a session Belgian wit ale brewed with two owls, very own. Per tree Bretomyces. So that adds a little bit of intrigue to it, uh, but not much. Funky artwork from Casper Leadit. So without any further ado, let's get this beer opened and see what we get. And yes, my voice is starting to dry up. It's just dry is the theme of the, the video, apparently. Anyway, so let's let's be fair, let's be objective, let's enjoy its beer. How bad can it be? A very active beer, I will say that. Probably down to my pouring. But a very pretty looking beer once it's all in the glass. So yeah, it's got a very subtle haze to it. Do you know what it reminds me of? like lemon cordial uh, in the glass. Or like lemon juice. Looks a bit more orange and amber on camera, but it's, it's really quite pale, actually. Uh, beer poured for about two things worth of a white compact head. So in the glass, it, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's like a, a picture-perfect beer in terms of the appearance. So anyway, got a little bit of a cold, so that's working against me on this one. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's, let's see what the beer smells like. There is a bit of a pear-like character in there. Obviously get my nose in. There's a bit of lemon juice. Little tartness. Uh, it's not really a funky beer by any stretch. It's almost got like a slight citrus hoppy note to it. But I'm not sure if they have 
added citrus hops, so I've been gone for like a somewhat classical Belgian wit ale. Because I know with wit, wit beers, you do get a little bit of a, a citrus character, because I think they use uh, rinds and stuff like that in them, just to add a little bit of a acidity and freshness to them. But I've got to say, it's smelling really nice, actually. Um, I'm not usually the biggest fan of purrs. In fact, I hate purrs. I, I hate eating purrs. Like, how... <laughs> and again, this is a joke. I don't actually mean it. But how boring of a person must you be if you get excited at the idea of a poached purr as a dessert? They've literally just crudely peeled a fruit and poached it, and then served it, and charged stupid amounts for it. I don't get it. I do not get the attraction of poached pears. And I don't get the attraction of carrot cake either. This probably explains why I'm this big, do you know what I mean? So never take my opinion of food seriously. But of course, I mean it all in jest. Love and affection. It's nearly Christmas, so uh, let's bring that cheer in. Beer smelling nice, to be fair, so let's give it a taste. Cheers. I don't like it. I didn't actually intend to be that childish. <sighs> It's everything wrong with these styles of beers. I mean, listen, putting this beer down, I've got to put it down. Um, just because I don't like these styles of beers does not mean I disrespect the tradition and the history, the cultural heritage, the historical and cultural importance of these beers. There's just flavour profiles that I don't like. And it seems too all have managed to put everything that I don't like about these beers into one beer. So someone could drink this and think it's one of the best examples of the style that they've ever had. It's just straight away I'm getting that unsatisfying <laughs> yeasty overbrewed tea flavour. Which I usually get on the back end. And then it's got this sort of like, it's like cardamom, clovey, citrus character in there. Light body. A little bit foamy. Yeah, I'm just... The Bram Ices does have an, have a nice, add a nice little layer of flavour there. And that sort of peachy flavour, which I'm... I am sure it's just going down to the power of persuasion with this one. But I'm getting that sort of like peach, peach flavour. Peach? Pear? Not peach, pear. But, um, I just don't want to drink it. I just, I get no enjoyment or satisfaction from these styles of beers. No matter how many times I try, and I will continue to try these beers because I want to try and give them a fair chance. But this to me is just doing nothing for me. It's it's just a moment of like when you've got foamy spit. Yeah, I don't like that. I really do not like that. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm not going to finish that beer. Not because it's a bad beer. Just because I'll get nothing out of drinking that. Jeremy, and I want to have a couple more beers tonight. I want to catch up with the, the, the calendar because I'm cutting it very fine. As I'm recording this video, I think I've got like one video uploaded, one ready to be edited, and one like already in backlog. So I'm really cutting it fine <laughs> right now. And I want to, because I've got a day off tomorrow, I want to drink a few beers, get this calendar a little bit up to date. Give me some breathing space, because I'm uploading bid beer reviews every second day as well. Oh, first world problems. P, you fucking bitch. I've just realised how pathetic that sounds. As if that's a burden. Do you know what I mean? No, I'm not going to go into like a BBC comic relief or children in need sort of. Some children at this time of year don't have presents to open. Uh, maybe that's good, because they're not brought into this bullshit materialistic ideology that we have nowadays. 
says the person who spent all that money on a beer calendar and continues to spend most of his wage on his hobby, which is beer. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not enjoying this beer at all. Uh, it's just not doing anything for me. What if I did that for the rest of the video? Is that weird? Is what I'm doing right now weird? I don't know. Yeah, in terms of a rating, purely on enjoyment factor alone, 3 out of 10. Because uh, it is a well-brewed beer. Um, and from my experience with the style, there are familiar flavours and that authenticity is that it's just... I don't like those beers. And it's probably... The harsh truth is, I probably will never really get to like those beers, do you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, 3 out of 10. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Where Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you like these beers? What are some of your favourite examples of these beers? Just hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, so let's see what number we are going to be looking behind tomorrow. <coughs> oh. So, coming towards the end though, folks, tomorrow's door will be door number three. So, hopefully that beer will be a little, hopefully that beer will be a little bit more enjoyable than this one. And uh, yeah, again, please don't misconstrue this as me, like, dismantling the beer style or anything like that it's just not my taste it's just not my thing and if it's your thing then fantastic um i'll probably have a few more sips of this but it's probably going to go down the sink just because i'm getting nothing out of it really um yeah and it's a shame but i still think this calendar has been absolutely awesome up to this point and i'm very much looking forward to seeing what's in the rest of the doors so join me tomorrow for door number three and uh, if you want to leave any hate comments death threats or uh, doxing information then please feel free to do so anyway thanks for watching guys and i shall hopefully still see you tomorrow cheers <laughs>